talk is uh, quickly estimating powers of two. Um, this is me. And um, let's say you want to know the resolution of a single precision floating point number, or you want to estimate the number of states in a machine work on a PDP-10, or you want to know the biggest value that you can store in a 128-bit integer. Um, if you can already do all of this in your head, uh, then you can chill for the next five minutes. If not, then this talk is for you. So let's start by looking at the small powers of two. And by small here, I mean less than 10. So here they are. Um, and you probably know some of them by heart already because they keep popping up, like, for example, uh, power seven, uh, which is the number of ASCII characters, uh, or power eight, which is the number of state in an 8-bit chart. Um, so these are the ones that I happen to know by heart. Uh, your list may, dif may be different from mine, but that doesn't really matter as long as you know how to close the gaps which you have in there. Um, so here's how I calculate uh, power of nine in my head. So nine is one more than eight. Uh, so it has to be two times power eight. So two times 256, which is 512. Um, or power six. Um, so you could go six is uh, one less than seven. So it has to be half power seven, uh, 128 half to 64. Um, another way to go about this is you could say six is two times three. So it has to be power three squared. So eight squared, which again is 64. One last for good measure, um, power five, five is two plus three. So it's power two times power three, which is four times eight, which is 32. Um, so these kinds of mental tricks work pretty well for small powers. They're quite easy to do, but it gets harder and harder for larger powers um, as our gaps of, uh, of known powers get larger and larger. Um, so in order to estimate the larger powers, uh, we make use of a curious property uh, of the power 2 to the 10, uh, which is 1024, as you uh, probably know. Um, and this happens to be pretty close to 1,000. Um, so when we look at the exponents, which are multiples of 10, uh, we can approximate them as follows because of that. Um, so 2 to the 20 is roughly 1,000 squared. Um, so this is 10 to the 2 times 3, uh, which is roughly 1 million. Um, 2 to the 30 um, is uh, roughly 1,000 cubed, or um, 10 to the 3 times 3, uh, which is roughly 1 billion, and so on. Um, and if you look now at the exponents here on the right, uh, you might notice that these correspond exactly to the SI unit prefixes. Um, so actually, the only thing that you have to do here is look at uh, the number that is in the 10 place, and that gives you already the order um, of the result that you're in. Um, so the only thing that we now really need to do is putting those together. Um, so let's do an example. So 2 to the 32, most of you probably know the value of that already. Um, so here's how you would do this in your head. You split the tens and the ones. Um, the ones, it's a, it's a small power. You can, you can just uh, calculate that directly. And the tens, you, you estimate um, with the trick that we just saw. So uh, two to the two becomes four, um, and the two to the 30 is roughly one billion, so the result is roughly four billion. Um, two to the 23, another example, we again split the ones and the tens. Uh, the ones give us uh, two to the three, so that's eight. Um, the tens, two to the 20, this is roughly 10 to the two times three, so roughly one million, um, so the result is um, eight million. Uh, one more example, 2 to 36, again, splitting up the tens and the ones, gives us uh, roughly 64 billion, uh, which is roughly six times uh, 10 to the power 10. Um, and this even works for larger exponents or uh, for uh, 128, just again, split the tens and the ones. Um, and then the exponent is 12 times three, which is 10 to the 36. Um, so we estimate it's roughly 2.5, uh, 10 to the 38. Um, so of course, this is not exact. Uh, we make a little error for that. Um, so the initial estimation that um, 1024 roughly equals 1,000 introduces this error of roughly 2.5%. The error increases, but it only increases on the 10 steps. Um, for the smaller exponents, it increases almost linearly, although the function is not actually linear. Um, and if you get worried about the, the big numbers popping up later, um, 
Mind you uh, that for 128, this is merely the difference between 2.5 or 3.4 uh, in the 10 to the 38. So the order of the result is still very, uh, very accurate here. So that I think makes it a good technique for estimate. And this is again the formula on one slide, and I hope this is a useful hack for you. Thank you very much. <laughs>